Normal flu, if I get that, I'm going to infect, on average, about 1.3, 1.4 people, OK, if there was such a division. Yeah. And if those 1.3, 1.4 people gave it to the next lot, that's the second time it gets passed on. By the time that's happened 10 times, I've been responsible for about 14, 1, 4 cases of flu. This coronavirus is very, very infectious, so every person passes it to three. Now, that doesn't sound like much of a difference, but if each of those three passes it to three, and that happens at 10 layers, I have been responsible for infecting 59,000 people. Now... I actually wasn't on top of that maths right. <laughs> when you were doing that. OK, that, that did come as a shock, yeah. Right. Now, most people are going to feel a bit pokey, or not very pokey, and be just fine, but they will have spread, a, spread it around. And a few will get sick at about day 10 of their illness. So they will need to come into a hospital. And when they're in a hospital, they will consume resources and time and people will look after them quite rightly. And they will be monitored to see if they become really, really sick. Those people then come to an intensive care unit. And that's where, if you're critically ill, your life gets saved or not. And this is the issue. If we've got a limited resource, which we have, a limited number of ventilators, a limited number of doctors, a limited number of nurses, which is fine, because we can't run ourselves with a huge excess capacity all the time. If we overwhelm that, we can't provide that service of caring for these people properly. This isn't the end of the world, is it? No, we've got to remember that this is... I'm not, not going to play it down. It's going to be ugly, it's going to be horrible for a large number of people, but it will be a small number of people who get properly sick, and a smaller percentage of those, again, that need to come to an intensive care unit, and we can save the lives of a large number of those people too. But please, just remember that the best chance we can give for the people who do fall ill is if we've got enough beds and enough staff and enough kit to be able to be there for you. And if you are irresponsible enough to think that you don't mind if you get the flu, remember, it's not about you. It's about everybody else.